Hey guys, Aussie Trekker here with you, and um, I'm planning on making another build at the moment. So um, before I get into that, just um, something I want to mention. Um, about two months ago, while I was at work, I pinched a nerve in my neck, and since then I lost feeling in my right hand, and I'm right-handed, so that's kind of made things a little bit difficult for me. Um, the feeling in my hand still hasn't completely returned. Um, so basically, at the moment, these three fingers here, the pads, don't have any feeling in them. Um, it's like I'm wearing a really thick pair of leather gloves. So, um, holding things, I can't really tell, picking up small things like on the models, I can't tell if I've picked them up without actually looking at it or that I'm still holding it. I, I'm dropping things and things like that. Um, fine motor skills for it are a little bit diminished. And by the end of the day, it actually feels like I'm holding onto a block of ice when I'm not. So, um, probably, what are we? In late July, I was, when I put up a video about the U-boat build, um, I was having problems with my hand and after that I was still working on a couple model cars and I completely screwed them up because of not being able to use my right hand properly so um, I haven't done any modelling at all since then until yesterday I picked up my Enterprise D to do some more of the window scraping um, for the last week it's been a little bit better so I've been doing that so um at the moment I still want to build some models but I'm not gonna build anything that's too complex because I can't use my right hand properly at the moment so because I don't want to sc screw it up like I have been it's frustrating me so um, I'm going to build something else which will be another 1350 TOS Enterprise but I'm hoping my feeling returns back to my hand soon. It's been two months and it's probably just over 50% better. I don't know if it will get better. I'm hoping it does. So I'm going to limit myself to probably either a Friday night or a Saturday night for an hour so I don't get frustrated by it. So I want to work on something that doesn't have a lot of small parts. So this is something I've been wanting to build. Um, a couple of years ago we did the production version. I also want to do the um, second pilot version for the episode where no man has gone before. Um, the production version gets built more than anything and I'd like to have all three versions from the cage. The second pilot and the production version all in this scale. So I want to do that with this one. Um, I just think it might be an idea to for people to see it built in one of the other versions and what needs to be done to do that version. So um, I don't have the box with me but I've got all the parts that I bought separately um, to do the pilot versions which comes with the extra parts. Um, so that has different windows and caps, um, different BC deck and bridge, uh, different end caps. I think there's also a different neck in the kit, um, diff different deflector and so forth. So um, that's what I'm planning on doing. Um, as I said, it's only going to be one an hour a week I'm going to work on it because of my problem with my hand. Um, I've got the sets from Paragraphics as well. Um, I don't think I'm going to end up using this one. I may or may not end up using this one, but it has the photo H for the end caps. Um, what I'm planning on doing is the end caps. I'm going to drill out all the holes and light them up, even though it wasn't on in the episode. 
I think it needs to um, show a little bit more detail with the lighting having the saucer and the secondary hole all lit up the windows I think it needs still in the engine so I'm going to light up the back end of it blue like in the um, Discovery Enterprise but also the um, beside collectors at the front I'm also going to light them up um, red I think they should be lit up too um, I won't be doing the fan effects or anything like in the production version so um, that's my plan um, yesterday I've also I've got the kit but I've also ordered um, stuff for the 1350 Kronos 1 for the Star Trek 6 the undiscovered country um, I found an aftermarket kit from Green Strawberry and it has a lot of the photo which that I want I think it's a bit better than the um, Polar Lights one which is made by Power Graphics. There's a lot more in it for the set that I've got some resin parts as well which is what's inspired me to try and do some modeling again because I want to do it but lately for the last few months I really have not enjoyed modeling whatsoever and with my hand problem for the last couple months it's made things frustrating for me so I was going to try something simple and nothing too strenuous and just limit it for an hour one night a week so um, that's the plan um, the first thing we're going to do on this is we got to fill windows on the BC deck here for the new one um, the secondary hole has windows that need to be filled and other windows that need to be opened up so um, that'll be there my first point of call for doing that um, I'll do the lighting as I said and stuff like that um, so I just wanted to let you guys know what's happening and what I'm planning on doing so um, I'll just leave that there for now so um, that's my plan as I said <clears throat> my hands bothering me so I'm probably gonna look like I'm getting clumsy with things that's because I can't use those three fingers as well as I can on this hand so I'm probably going to get frustrated on camera if I start making mistakes just when I do it's just because of my hand at the moment so um, that will be it for this video just as I said letting you know what's happening for the last couple of months and what I'm planning on doing so um, any questions or comments about this build um, I plan to do a video on the Kronos one when I get the stuff in. This, from what I've seen, I haven't seen many people do the build. I was hoping that when I got the kit back early in the year that Boyd over at Trekworks would have um, done it, but because he's no longer with us, I kind of want to do that also as a tribute build for him because he did the one on the Katinga from Star Trek Motion Picture which helped me build mine so I'm thinking of doing a build series on that in remembrance of Boyd but also so there's a videos out there of it being built that other people can use as a reference to help build it since unfortunately Boyd can't do it for us now so yeah any questions comments guys if you want to see the Kronos One kit itself um, let me know in the comments but otherwise I'll wait till I get the um, aftermarket detailing kit photo etch and I'm also getting the lighting kit from Tanner Controls for that which I don't think I'll get until the second half of September so it won't be till the end of September I'll start on that depending on how far I get on through with this one um, I may just end up jumping straight into Kronos 1 because that's something I've been wanting to build for a very long time and now I finally can. So yeah, any questions, comments, guys, leave them down below. And thanks for watching.